Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In today's video, we will talk about multiplying decimals by one tenth, one hundred, and one thousand. So, for the sake of this tutorial, para din tayo mayira pang pronounce ito mga decimals ito, babasahin ko na lang ito bilang 0 0.1, 0 0.001, and 0 0.001. Last time, we have uploaded a video on how to multiply decimals if your multiplier is 10, 100, or 1,000. So, pwede siyang bisitahin para mapag-aralan nyo rin. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. I have here three examples first for us to know how to multiply numbers or decimals if your multipliers are 0 0.1, 0 0.001 and 0 0.001 so try that into. let's have number one we have 548 times sorry 548.37 times 0 0.1 so ang rule lang dito napakadali lang naman bilangin mo lang yung decimal places na meron ka sa yung multiplier sa 0 0.1 meron kang isang decimal place ibig sabihin yan Itong decimal point natin ay move din natin ng one decimal place papunta naman sa left. Ito na ngayon yung ating bagong decimal place. So what is the answer when you multiply 548.37 by 0 0.1? The correct answer here is 54.837. Sir, paano din nangyari? Review lang natin. Again, 548.37 time, times 0 0.1. Bibilangin mo lang kung ilang decimal place ang meron tayo sa iyong multiplier. Sa 0 0.1, meron kang 1 decimal place. So meaning, itong decimal point natin, i-move natin ng 1 decimal place from right to left. That's why the correct answer is 54.837. So let's move on with the next example. We have the same multiplicand, 548.37 times 0 0.01. So, your multiplier is 0 0.01. So, bibilangin natin ulang decimal place meron tayo. You have 1 and 2 decimal places. Ibig sabihin yan, if you have 2 decimal places sa yung multiplier, you will be moving this decimal point 2 units from or two decimal places from right to left. So look at the movement. You have your one and two. Again, one and two. That's why the correct answer here or the product is 5.4837. So let's have the third example. 548.37 times 0 0.001 Bilangin natin decimal places natin You have your 1, 2, and 3 Again, 1, 2, and 3 So itong decimal point natin to Try natin 1, 2, and 3 Therefore, ang sagot natin 0 0.54837 So I hope na in this video Kaya nyo rin siyang i-multiply mentally so try natin eh. Let's have, for example, I will be using 47.32 times 0 0.1. Kung ang multiplier ko ay 0 0.1, ang magiging sagot ko dyan is 4.732. Ginawa ko siya mentally. Sir, paano yun? Meron ka ngayon ditong Meron ko hindi itong one decimal place. Ibig sabihin, nasa isip mo na kailangan mo itong i-move ng one unit or one decimal place from right to left. Therefore, my answer is 4.732. Let's have another example. Try natin ito ha. 112.5 times 0 0.01. So, ano nga yung magiging product? Alam natin na meron tayong 2 decimal places. 
sa 0.01. Ibig sabihin, sa mind natin, we need to move this decimal point to units. So, magiging sagot ko dito is 1.125. Kasi itong ang decimal point natin, i-move natin ng 1 and 2. That's why our product is 1.125. So, I hope na sa ating video tutorial is natutunan niyo kung paano mag-multiply ng mga decimals if your multiplier is 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001. So, I have here an activity wherein I want you to apply what you have learned from this tutorial video at sana yung magiging sagot natin is makita natin sa ating comment section. Again, yung inyong product or sagot niyo sa ating activity ay pakilagay po sa ating comment section. So, kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, and i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!